About a decade ago, Tim Cook spent a week touring BMW's factories in Munich as Apple planned to launch Project Titan, otherwise known as the Apple Car. But this week, Apple's decision to shut down its Apple Car project after a decade of secretive development comes as a significant retreat, marked by immense financial losses. Despite never publicly acknowledging the project, it involved around 2,000 employees and billions of dollars in research and development costs. Initially rumoured to be working on a fully autonomous vehicle without traditional controls like a steering wheel and pedals, Apple's special projects group, led by CEO Tim Cook under Project Titan, encountered numerous setbacks. From layoffs to executive departures, the project faced challenges in its quest to bring a revolutionary electric vehicle to market. Even though Apple never publicly announced Project Titan, it was something they were taking incredibly seriously. Apple hired executives from well-known competitors and acquired the autonomous vehicle startup Drive.ai in 2019. The hire of Luigi Taraborelli from Lamborghini suggested it would be manufacturing in-house, especially as they never secured a manufacturing partner for the car. In 2017, Apple was granted a license to test autonomous vehicles in California, which was around the same time that they hired Tesla's VP of Engineering, Doug Field. However, just four years later, Field left for Ford in 2021, and Nissan and Hyundai reportedly rejected Apple's approaches that same year. Apple's plans were changing dynamically too, having gone from a concept of a self-driving limousine to one with some self-driving ability. As the market for EVs faced headwinds, with slowing demand and increased competition, Apple's ambitious plans began to falter. Major players like Ford and General Motors postponed their EV expansion plans, while Tesla, the leading EV manufacturer, warned of weaker sales growth. Elon Musk's response to Apple's decision, with emojis of a salute and a cigarette, underscored the industry's recognition of the challenges faced. Critics have labelled the closure as a smart move, suggesting that the market for EVs is faltering as AI is booming. Some even suggested that Apple's car project was adding zero dollars to the firm's value in the market. EV sales are slowing worldwide, and already established businesses like Rivian and Lucid Motors have recently announced lackluster results, which sent their share prices falling hard. Apple found itself to be too far behind established players to reach commercialization and product differentiation. Low margins were a key concern of Apple's board too, far from the margins that their tech produces. Some are suggesting that the car would have been priced at around $100,000, which again would have made their car less viable for consumers and not worth the additional millions of dollars that they'd need to spend to bring it to market. Moreover, Apple's pivot away from the Apple car has meant that many of the 2,000 employees working on Project Titan will now pivot towards generative artificial intelligence, which reflects a strategic shift towards more promising areas of innovation. The growing demand for AI and consumer electronics, highlighted by research firms like Cal Counterpoint influenced Apple's decision to reallocate resources. The failure of the Apple car project not only underscores the challenges of entering the EV market, but also signals a broader reality check for autonomous vehicles. Despite significant investments and hype, technological barriers and regulatory challenges have impeded progress for even one of the world's largest and most powerful companies. The decision to abandon the Apple car project comes amid a broader trend of reassessment within the automotive industry. The transition to electric vehicles, while promising from an environmental perspective, presents significant economic and logistical challenges. High manufacturing costs, limited charging infrastructure, and consumer reluctance due to concerns over range anxiety and charging times have all contributed to a slower than expected adoption of EVs. The regulatory environment surrounding autonomous vehicles remains uncertain, with questions about liability, safety standards, and infrastructure requirements still unresolved. While companies like Waymo have made progress in developing self-driving technology in limited settings, widespread adoption is likely still years away. Whilst Apple recognizes the challenges it would have still faced, it's important to remember that Apple still has power in the automotive industry. Apple CarPlay has been adopted by so many manufacturers. In-car software has not improved in the same way as the broader technology industry, but Apple have seamlessly integrated the Apple UX that we all know and love into the way that we drive, and will long be an important component of the driving experience. Maybe the only reason why Apple pulled the plug on Project Titan was because they couldn't find a way to charge it. 